Now tied up at the oceanography dock at the University of Washington, an icebreaker named Sikuliok. In November, it was here in the Arctic Ocean studying ice, which is not only a lot thinner than it used to be, there's a lot less of it. And the Arctic is certainly the canary in the coal mine, people have called it. You know, it's the place where we're seeing the most dramatic, the most rapid climate change. Jim Thompson is a professor of engineering and oceanographer at the University of Washington's Applied Physics Lab. And he says this research in November wouldn't have been possible a decade ago. So there's more open water, and it's lasting longer and longer. We never would have planned a trip like this in November 10 years ago. We would have gone in September. And these images from NASA show the problem. The ice doesn't cover nearly the area it used to. The red line, the average of where it should be at the height of summer. And that's what this month-long trip was about. All of that open ocean means more and bigger waves. And a lot of times when it gets really rough, I mean, really, we're talking about two hands, right? Just holding on and swinging back and forth. This ship owned by the University of Alaska, which is working with the University of Washington, even other scientific institutions. More waves and a shorter ice season also mean more erosion for Alaska's coastline. The erosion is, is quite severe and it's, it appears to be accelerating. We think that's in part due to this increase in the waves. It's also in part due to the increase in the temperatures. It's warmer there now and the permafrost is melting. Another sign of change, the formation of pancake ice. That had not been seen in the Arctic previously until the last few years. We're starting to see this pancake ice form and that's really because there are waves now. So changing the type of ice that forms when it does finally form in the late fall in the Arctic. Change, Thompson says, that is only getting faster. At the University of Washington, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.